Hey everyone, it's John here, and in this video, we're going to use one of the new dynamic array functions to create a formula that's going to generate us a random password of a given length. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so for future Excel videos. Now, let's get started. So, a little bit about the setup. I've got a table here, and it's just got a single column in that table. And if I go up to my design tab, you can see that I've named that table characters. And what it has in it is just a list of the characters that I want to use for my passwords. So we've got some symbols here and we've got all the numbers. And then we also have the alphabet, both upper and lower case. And I've also got a named range here. So I've got this cell that's going to have my password length. And I've called that pass length. Now let's build our formula. So we're going to use the rand array function. And this has a couple different arguments. So it's going to return an array of random numbers. And we can return an array of any dimension. So we have to give it uh, the number of rows and the number of columns to return. So each row in our random array is going to represent one character in our password. And so we're going to return 16 rows right now. And we'll just return one column. That's all we need. And the random numbers now, we want to start at one. And we want to go up to the number of characters that we have in this column here. So what we're going to do is reference that table with a count A formula. And that's just going to count everything in this table. And the last argument in our rand array function is whether we want to return decimal values or an integer. And we want an integer in this case. And if we press enter, then we get an array of random values between one and there's actually 72 characters in this table. So between one and 72. And we're going to use these integers to return the character in this table. So for example, here's 14. So we, instead of 14, we want to return the 14th character in this table. And so what we're going to use is the index function to do that. So we're going to wrap our rand array in an index function. And the array is going to be this table. And the next argument of our index function is which row number we want to return. And that's going to be this value that's generated here. And we're going to be in column one always. And we can close off our index function. And when we press enter, we see what happens here is that we get a list of characters from this table. And if we press F9, that's going to refresh and generate new random numbers and get new random characters. Now we want to combine all these characters into one password. And to do that, we're going to use the text join function. So again, we're going to wrap this function in text join. And the first argument in text join is the delimiter you want to separate your characters by. And we don't want to separate our characters at all. So we're just going to leave uh, an empty quotation marks. And here we can choose true or false. Uh, we're not going to have any empty cells, so it won't really matter. Let's pick true. And the last argument is our array of random characters, which is generated by this formula here. And now if we enter this function, what we get is a random password of 16 characters long generated based on our list of allowed characters. And we can copy this down and create as many passwords as we want. And let's maybe increase the length. Let's try 18 characters. And we get a, a password there of 18 characters. So that's how you can use one of the new dynamic array formulas the rand array function to generate a password of a given length. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos. That's it for this one. See you guys next time.